So in this small video segment, I'm going to show you how to import a bitmap image and how to get started with marking uh, that bitmap image on a <clears throat> some type of metal or coated metal. Uh, it's going to work best with something like an anodized aluminum plate or maybe like a, a aluminum card that's got you know coated with um, paint or something on it. Something coated tends to work out the best. Uh, in any case, uh, what you do is you go up here to where it says File, Import Image File, which is just below the import uh, that you would do for importing a vector file. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to grab this image here, something simple, and hit OK. It, when it asks me if I want to perform the uh, conversion, you say no. And then you go up here to Advanced image marking parameters. You have to set power level and duty cycle to something other than zero. So depending on what you're marking on, you may need more power or, or less. Um, let's just set 30, and our duty cycle will say 50%. And we hit OK. And then now you should be able to go and do you know normal red light function and uh, your marking function here like you would with um, a vector file. Now the difference is um, you may have to go back and forth here to your marking parameters and adjust your power a little bit in your duty cycle. You also have a power level setup. Um, it's going to take some experimentation to get the grayscaling uh, the way you want. Each piece of material is different. Uh, make sure you're in focus. I would start with low power and move up. Uh, easy way to do it again is right here. Uh, again with your duty cycle that's just basically how much of the pulse you know, is on versus off. Uh, it's your duty cycle, so uh, between power level and duty cycle, you should be able to get it close to where you want. Uh, give it a try. Again, you may have to go back and forth, and then if you have to result to, uh, if you've got something that looks good on one end and, you know, and the darks look good and the lights don't, um, or vice versa, it's actually inverted from this, think about it because it's power level, um, go ahead and you can adjust these parameters up or down uh, if you've got you know, somewhere in between that's not quite the way you want it. Hit OK, and again, one also in here, I'll show you. You can save anything once you get it dialed in. If you, you know, you can always save up here at File Save, of course, but uh, you can say save a new configuration. You say Add, give it a new name, hit OK, and then uh, you can always call that up from your list here when you come back later. Okay, and of course you can do normal sizing like you can with your vector, um, your vector images. Um, selecting your image grab the corner, scale it this way, and position it of course, or you can use your um, transform function to size it and or rotate it, etc. Alright, good luck.